go through sacred scripture, in particular the New Testament, we have Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, four Gospels. And then as we turn and we go down, we have Acts of the Apostles. And we move from Acts of the Apostles to Romans. And from Romans to 1 Corinthians. So you can learn that out. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, 1 Corinthians. And after 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians. But we stop today at 1 Corinthians chapter 13. The order of importance of spiritual gifts. A hymn to love. Set your mind on the higher gifts. And now I am going to put before you the best way to do so. Though I command language, both human and angelic, if I speak without love, I am no more than a gong booming or a cymbal clashing. And though I have the power of prophecy to penetrate all mysteries and knowledge, and though I have all the faith necessary to move mountains, if I am without love, I am nothing. Though I should give away to the poor all that I possess, and even give up my body to be burnt, if I am without love, it will, be, it will do me no good whatever. What is it saying? that our good deeds, our noble deeds, whether they be social, spiritual, whatever we embark upon, love must be there. That is why Jesus said the greatest is love. Love God, love your neighbor, and be in business. And now, Corinthians is saying, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, we can do all the greatest work, all the good things. If we don't have love, let us pinch ourselves and learn. Why? Love is always patient and kind. Love is never jealous. Love is never not boastful or conceited. It is never rude and never seeks its own advantage. It does not take offense or store up any wrong. Love does not rejoice in wrongdoings, but finds its joy in trust. It is always ready to make allowances, to trust, to hope, and to endure whatever comes. Love never comes to an end. Love never comes to an end. And it goes on telling us that the other gifts will end, but love will never come to an end. As it is, there remains. Faith, verse 13. So 1 Corinthians 13, 13 tells us, as it is, there remains faith, hope, and love, and three of them. The greatest of all is love. As we go through our daily lives, let us ask the Lord to bless us with his love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.